What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and another video. My name is Noreen and today's video is going to be a little bit of everything. I like making vlogs where I can just kind of include a little bit of everything in them. So it's the weekend and I have some new skincare products that I want to show you that I purchased from Ulta. They were having like a fall beauty event type of thing. Um, so I picked up some new stuff that I'm going to be trying out. So I will be showing you that and then whatever else happens. Happens. I do want to make some Halloween like apple nachos I had seen on Pinterest and I kind of like I'm gonna put my spin on it and make it festive and fall slash Halloweeny if that's is that a word Halloweeny so if you are new to my channel hello welcome I would love for you to stick around so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below turn your notifications on give this video a like and let's get on with it so starting out with all my new skincare products I got this CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser and my main reason for getting this was because this one is a makeup remover. So this one I plan on using for when I'm days that I'm wearing makeup and use this to wash my face and get the makeup off. Then this CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser I plan on using like in the mornings and nights on days when I don't have makeup so I'm not using as much of the makeup remover one so that way I can kind of keep them separate and this one has hyaluronic acid in it so did the other one but like I said I plan on using this one for days that I don't have on makeup that's why that way I don't go through it as fast and then next up is the CeraVe skin renewing day cream with sunscreen this has SPF in it and also hyaluronic acid and encapsulated retinol so this is also a new product that I'm gonna be trying um, it got great reviews so I am excited to try it then I also picked up the CeraVe skin renewing retinol serum I needed a new serum and this one came up and also got Got really good reviews so it claims that it reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles and moisturizes and help restore the protective skin barrier which in this one also has the hyaluronic acid so now with my new fine mature age and my mature skin I just need a little bit more retinol and hyaluronic acid so these hoping that this new skincare routine will help me in that I'm going to show you guys what I I'm using at the moment so here's what I'm using at the moment the CRV AM moisturizer this has SPF 30 in it so I use this every morning and this is what I've been using at night I got this because it was ultra lightweight and I thought that I would like the lightweight to it but I honestly feel like I need something a little bit more thicker with a little bit more oomph that's why I got those other products that I got and then I was also using this eye cream morning and night and honestly I don't know I didn't really notice a difference the reviews everyone said they notice a difference maybe I should have taken some like before and after photos but I didn't really notice a difference with this so I don't know if I'll be rebuying this one and then I was also using this at night because this is just a cheapie but like I was saying I just needed a little bit more than that lightweight moisturizer so I would add a little bit of this but once I'm done with these I will be starting all those new products that I was just showing you guys. So like I was mentioning earlier, I do wanna make those like Halloween apple nachos. So Layla's taking her little nap right now and I believe Amelia's napping over there too. She's quiet, so I'm assuming she's napping. I can't see her eyes from over here, but. So I'm gonna do that now and by the time I'm done, Layla will probably be up from her nap and I'm gonna show you guys how I make those. So I'm gonna be using my two favorite apples and that's Honeycrisp and Granny Smith and I just used my apple cutter device thing to kind of guide me and then I went through and sliced them even thinner. Now the Granny Smith was too thick to go through so I just ended up cutting that by hand and because the apple slicer kind of like started cutting it so they weren't perfect but there I am just cutting them up and then adding a little bit of lemon juice to keep them from browning and then just kind of stirring them up. 
And then here I'm just kind of layering them every other one on the plate to make them look like nachos. But again, you can do this however you want. And then I'm using some sugar-free caramel just to keep the sugar intake down. And then just kind of squirting it all over, apply however much you want. And then using some semi-sweet mini chocolate chips and just sprinkling those all over. And then I'm using some unsalted peanuts and I just got a little sandwich bag, put some in there and then used a rolling pin to kind of crush them up. You could use anything you want to crush them up, but the rolling pin just made it that much easier. And then same thing, just sprinkling them on over. And I really wanted to keep these kind of like fall themed, but fall sprinkles are out everywhere guys like there's no orange and brown sprinkles anywhere so i was able to find these halloween sprinkles at target and then just sprinkle those on and there they are they were so good and they came out so cute go ahead try them be okay honest. be honest i mean we love caramel apples with peanuts i don't think see how this would be any different. No, I'm just joking. No, it's really good. I'm about to try one now. No, that is really good. I want the green one. So here's what mine looks like. <laughs> my hair has gotten so frizzy, I couldn't even see you behind my hair. No, oh, these are way better than when I get the mm -hmm. caramel apple ones from the grocery store. Yeah, it's really good. So, I just want to talk about my frizzy hair for a minute. So, I used my Dyson blow dryer to blow dry my hair. And then I used my, like, wand curling iron to curl it. But, look how frizzy it is compared to when I used that Revlon brush blow dryer thing. Um... That makes my hair so nice and smooth and it looks like I got like a professional salon style blowout. Using my Dyson blow dryer, my hair is so frizzy. I don't know if I just haven't mastered using it. I mean, I made sure my hair was super dry and I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get bashed, but I'm not a fan of the Dyson blow dryer. I don't know. So we are currently on our way to Costco to get a membership. Okay, we're okay. We're currently Sam's people, but I think we're wanting to jump on the Costco bandwagon. I'm so over the Sam's by our house. I just feel like I don't know. Costco is like what you brag about when you tell people you have a Sam's. I feel like people are like. Mm. So, on our way to Costco to get a membership, and then, I don't know, I may want to browse around, I don't know yet. Max is already like, are you going to want to shop? I'm like, why else are we getting a membership? <laughs> Just left Costco's and I couldn't film at all in there because it was such a zoo like that little clip I got by the TVs and then that was it like I couldn't even really shop but I mean that's what we get for going to Costco's on a Saturday afternoon <laughs> so maybe I can go back like on a Monday and show you guys like I don't know whatever deals I find or whatever but yeah, we are leaving right now. I got a whole pizza from there because everyone talks about Costco's pizza. So I will show you guys what that looks like when we get home. So we are about to hit the road. You guys, look at this pizza, how big it is. I've never in my life, I didn't know how big a whole pizza from Costco was. I just thought it would be easier to do this. I mean, look, look at my hand. <laughs> so yeah. What do you want, baby? Do I ice? You want ice? Say it again. What do you want? The ice. Okay, I'll Good put you job. ice. Good job, <laughs> Here you go. Say thank you. Say thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so quick little Costco haul. Since it was so crowded and busy, I couldn't really look around. I was so overwhelmed. So we got some goldfish for Layla. We got these 
vegetable spring rolls and then some bagels i know some pe people are probably freaking out over these bagels but oh, it's okay don't worry about it so plain for max and then sam's usually has the asiago ones but costco has parmesan so we got parmesan instead and then i picked up some basmati rice the Middle Eastern staple. So yeah, that was it. Not much, like I said, it was too crowded for me to really look around and shop. <laughs> mm, I love you and your sister. You like yes, I you love you and your mom. sister. And no, this one. I love this one too. Come here. Hi. 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 You want to say bye? Say bye. Bye. Say it. Say bye. Say bye. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks so much for watching. Before you head out, please be sure to subscribe, turn those notifications on, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and as always, we will see you on our next one. Can you do a kiss? Mwah. <laughs>